Welcome back to physics class. Today we are dealing with potential energy. Potential energy means energy possessed due to the position of its object. That is, we are uh, getting into a particular height. Hmm? We are uh, getting into a top of the bench and uh, standing it at the top of the bench. We are attaining an energy. And in the case of the rubber band, we are stretching a rubber band means it is gaining an energy and using that energy it is compacting uh, coming back to its same positions that is normal position bow and arrow in case of the bow and arrow how this arrow is going that is we are stretching the bow and it's gaining a an potential energy while we are releasing this arrow that gain potential energy is converted to kinetic energy that is energy gains due to the position of an object is known as potential energy. The next we are going to learn about gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy means energy required to raise an object from the ground to top at a top or a particular height. It is known as gravitational potential energy. Once more I will say the energy required to raise an object from the ground to a particular height h is known as gravitational potential energy that is here the potential energy is work gaining that is an, uh, against the gravitation we are doing the work against the gravitational force that when we say the potential energy in terms of work the work done to take raise an object from the ground to a particular height you know the equation for the work work done is equal to force into displacement so, in order to raise an object from the ground, the force required is mg, that is mass into acceleration due to gravity. That is, we are uh, get, taking that object, uh, taking that uh, thing from the ground against the gravitational force, that is mg, and we are taking to a particular height. Therefore, we can write h, that is mgh, w is equal to mgh, that is here the work done to raise an object from the ground to a particular height is the potential energy. That object is gaining potential energy. When it reaches a particular height, it gains potential energy. Therefore, we can write potential energy is equal to mgh. Therefore, the equation to pot potential energy is mgh. M is that mass of the object. G is the acceleration due to gravity. And h is the height of the object. And whatever, you know, whatever direction we are taking means if this object is taking through this, this, this way and the region here means also we are taking this directly the height. We are taking this direct uh, height only. That is we are not considering the total path. We are just height. How much height it is gained. That only we are considering. Next, we are going to learn about law of conservation of energy. That is law of conservation of mechanical energy. Sometimes you heard about law of conservation of energy. Conservation of energy means that is energy can be neither be created nor be destroyed. It can be transformed from one form to another form. That is an energy cannot be destroyed. It can only transform from one form to another form. That is, here we are going to learn about mechanical energy. That is, law of conservation of mechanical energy. You know what is mechanical energy? That is, mechanical energy is divided into two. That is, kinetic energy and potential energy. Law of conservation of mechanical energy means, that is, total, the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy or is, all, is a constant. Whatever the things you have, whatever the kinetic energy is converted to potential energy or potential energy is converted to kinetic energy, whatever thing is happen, in all ways, this sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy will be a constant that is same, this will be a same but a particular value that will be same everywhere. So we can prove that if an object is coming down towards earth, if an object is coming towards the earth, is the ground. If an object is coming towards earth and if it have mass m and if this object is lying at a particular height that is h at top of this position it has only potential energy its kinetic energy will be zero you know what is the reason behind it that is in kinetic energy means the object that is the energy gained energy possessed during its motion 
at a particular height its maximum height's velocity will be zero therefore the kinetic energy will be zero at its maximum height and potential energy will be there that is potential energy is equal to mgh and when it is coming towards the earth at a particular instant its potential potential energy is decreasing and kinetic energy is gaining that is kinetic energy is increasing and sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy here the sum of the kinetic energy at the top position kinetic energy plus potential energy here is a constant that is kinetic energy is zero and potential energy mg so mgh only will be there and its sum of it will be constant mgh is the answer and when it is coming towards the earth at a particular instant from this at a particular instant here here also it is potential energy is increase decreasing and kinetic energy is increasing velocity is increasing and kinetic energy is height is decreasing therefore all at that time also the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy will be constant the same value will be obtained and when it is reaching the ground the all gravitational potential energy is converted to kinetic energy the kinetic energy will be there and the potential energy will be zero that is here what is the value here some of suppose the value of the potential energy will be uh, 5 joule at the top when it reaches the ground this all gravitational potential energy is changed to kinetic energy on some rails way that is when it is reaching the ground the all potential gravitational potential energy is changed to kinetic energy here the 5 joule is here then also here also the 5 joule will be the kinetic energy at the ground here potential of the all potential energy is converted to kinetic energy that is according to law of conservation of mechanical energy sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy is a constant and this states the law of conservation of mechanical energy next we can study about mechanical power how fast we can do the work it depends upon the power of the body okay here we are going to learn mechanical power that is electrical power that you will learn in 10 times standard mechanical power means how fast the work is done that is work done per unit time in a smaller time more work is done means it has large power so power means work done by an object in a unit time that is power is equal to work divided by time taken if a body or appliances is uh, doing its work within a short time it means it has loads of power and the unit of power is what it is denoted by the letter w that is another unit is joule per second that is the unit of work is joule and the unit of time is second from that we will obtain joule per second this is also the unit of power and you know that one kilowatt is equal to thousand watt one kilowatt is equal to thousand watt so this much these are things about you know to know about the power another equation to find out the power mechanical power is potential energy divided by time that is mgh divided by time taken that also another equation to find out the power next we can study about the kilowatt hour do you heard about that word kilowatt hour that is kwh means kilo watt hour another word that is commercial unit of electrical energy is kilowatt hour do you know electrical bill is coming to our home we always uh, think that uh, power we are measuring but the energy consumed electrical energy consumed by us is measuring it is not measuring in joule but it is measuring in kilowatt hour so we can see how it is possible how, how we are calculating the electric bill in kilowatt hour here watt means a unit of power kilowatt means thousand watt thousand watt a thousand watt of power consumed by an appliances in one hour is known as one kilowatt hour so we are calculating the power consumed by a appliances in one hour that is energy is equal to energy energy or work done is equal to power into time we already learned the equation power is equal to 
work done be divided by time so work done is equal to power into time and i already told you that work done exactly means energy itself that is energy work done energy is the capacity to do work energy and work done ideally both are equal therefore we can say energy is equal to power into time so electrical bill is calculated by the energy consumed by the energy consumed or power consumed by an appliances in one hour that is we can write the equation for the electrical energy it is equal to power into time that is instead of power uh, we are here we are giving a value that is 1000 watt 1000 watt of power consumed by an appliances time is not second we are considering here we are considering hour one hour that is 1000 watt means one kilowatt hour 1 k w and one hour means h itself that is Electrical energy is calculated in kilowatt hour. It means one unit of electric current. That you are familiar with one unit, two unit of current. We are calculate the price. Mm -hmm. So one kilowatt hour is equal to one kWh. One kilowatt hour is equal to one unit. And it is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joule. And so I am giving you an assignment. How this 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joule is obtaining. So you have to find out your own how. That is 1000 watt into 1 hour means how much second? 3600 second. 1000 into 3600 seconds. From here we are getting 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joule. So 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 1 unit of electric current that is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joule. It's very important. So you must remember these all things. Potential energy, gravitational potential energy, law of conservation of mechanical energy, power, then kilowatt hour. This is the last portion of the work power and a work energy power. So thank you all of you for listening to the class.